Welcome to Electrum Online. Now let's start looking at the details of the structure of the data in subframe 5, pages 1 through 24. Now remember, pages 1 through 24 are exact duplicates of one another in structure. They of course contain different information because each page contains the telemetry data or orbital information about that particular satellite. And so we have a total of 24 satellites that can be accounted for in subframe 5, pages 1 through 24, and then 8 additional satellites with 8 additional pages in subframe 4 that also contains the same structure with the same type of information, again, for each for a different satellite. As is, as is typical for every subframe, the first two words is associated with the TLM and the HOW. The TLM is the telemetry word and the HOW is the handover word. So every single page of every single subframe, four and five, and every single word, one and two of the other three subframes, one through three, all are similar in structure. They all have the TLM word and the HOW word. But here you can also see that it has C and P, there's two bits associated with C and six bits associated with P. Now notice that every word has the last six bits as the six parity bits to make sure that when the data is received, they can check to make sure that the data is indeed correct and trustable. If the parity check doesn't check out, then of course you have to ignore the data in that particular word. C has two bits, bit 23 and 24, the first 22 bits are for the TLM. So 23 is what we call an integrity status flag, and 24 is reserved. So 23 is simply a flag that tells you about the integrity status of that information. Then, uh, let's see here, then if we go to the second word, we have these two bits right here with the letter T, those are used for parity computations. Those don't have any specific meaning other than being used in, in parity calculations, as well as these six bits over here. Then if we go to word three, notice the first two bits are data ID information. So it gives you an ID of this particular data set. And the next six bit give you SVID. So this is where the receiver will figure out which satellite that particular information belongs to. So this will give you the SVID. And later on, we'll show you more details as to the structure of those bits right there. The next 16 bits are for the eccentricity of the orbit of that particular satellite associated with that particular ID. Then we, again we have the six parity bits, then we get to word four, so the first eight bits are associated with the time of ephemeris, but that is, I think the LSB to that is like 2 to the 12th or 2 to the 11th or something like that, so it's a big number. We don't need to have an accurate time, we just need to make sure that we're in the right data set and we can, uh, we can figure that out by having a rough idea what time of the week we're dealing with here. The next one is delta sub i. Now delta sub i is associated with i. It's called the delta inclination angle. Well, i is the inclination angle. This is the delta inclination angle, so there's a reference to that. And we'll show you how that's used. Again, the six parity bits. The next word, word five, uh, is what we call the rate of right ascension. So that's the rate at which we're moving away from the right ascension that tells you where the satellite is at based upon it coming up into the sky. And then the next eight bits give you some SV health information. So that is SV health information for the satellite that we're dealing with, which is identified with the SVID here. And I go again, the six parity bits. Getting towards six, we have the square root of the semi-major axis and the six parity bits. Then here, Notice we have tw also 24 bits associated with the longitude of ascension node. Then here we have 24 bits associated with the argument of perigee. That's the angle relative to the perigee point in the orbit of the satellite. Then here we have another 24 bits associated with the mean anomaly at reference time. And then we have data contained within the time offset parameters to figure out the delta t. And notice that in the case of ASAP now, we have eight LSB, uh, MSB bits plus the three LSB bits accounting for 11 bits. And then we have 11 bits there. I have no idea why they structured it that way, why they didn't just take this as 11 bits and 11 bit. No idea, but that's how it's structured. And then finally, um, well, I guess there could be a good reason for that. We'll, we'll find out. And then finally, we have another letter T there. 
Uh, T is two bits used for parity computations, so the tenth word also has two additional bits for parity computations. So we have that here in word two, and we have that in word 10. So that's the data structure of the first 24 pages out of 25 pages of subframe five. And then of course, we want to take a look at uh, the 25th page, because that has a very different data uh, construct and data information in it. But at least this is repeated a total of 24 times for subframe five and eight more times in subframe four, containing the essentially the uh, orbital parameters of each of the 32 satellites in the constellation. And that is how it's done.